Oh well, here we are at uh, Loudoun, New Hampshire for uh, round four of the 2012 GRC Rallycross. Um, here with Scott Eckman Racing, uh, along with our sponsors Tile Sport, Scott Trawlers. Um, it's been a good weekend, uh, massive crowds, a lot of good atmosphere. Fans have been really interacting well, coming past the pit setup. Uh, a lot of uh, good conversations going on. Uh, the racing, um, the, uh, the format here in the States is uh, that you have to do what they call seeding, which we would know in Europe is qualifying. Uh, unfortunately, seeding didn't go too well for me. Uh, the first time over the gap jump, I've uh, come up a little bit short and uh, broke my right rear wheel, so I had no time in seeding, which uh, put me on the back of the grid for the uh, first peak. Scott Eklund Racing Saab 93 is built by Per Eklund, who is a, a legend in rallycross, so he brings with that the many years of experience in building cars, and he's turned out a really competitive car here for the team. We have over 600 horsepower, um, with uh, a great power band, the car is very easy to drive. Uh, we have a Selom sequential gearbox, Selom differentials. The car uh, it's probably one of the fastest cars on the circuit. Uh, we found a lot more power when we uh, took on our new sponsors, Tile Sport, with their new turbochargers. It's uh, really helped the performance of the car. So we have a very good package. Fair Eklund and the team have made a very good job. We lined up uh, on the second row uh, for my first heat, and uh, the Saab made a fantastic start. Uh, Coming into the chicane at the end of the uh, start straight, uh, we had a racing incident with uh, Ken Block, which took uh, me and Ken out. Um, you could just lift the front, you have to take it. Then the team worked really hard to get the car ready for the for the last chance qualifier. Bad start, my clutch caught me, and I bumped forward, so I got uh, moved to the back and for the restart. Well, it was me and Travis, Travis was the toughest competition, but I, I knew I was, I was with him so I could give him a good fight, and I, I knew he wasn't going to go crazy because he wanted to make it to the eighth final, so he was going to crash and crash the car. I didn't have time to set the geometry back up on the steering and the suspension so although the car was drivable um, the handling wasn't so good but uh, it went out uh, last position in the for the grid for the last chance qualifier and uh, again uh, we made a, a good start but it was very difficult to to pass into the chicane so anyway we uh, we battled away and uh, we managed to come home fourth, which progressed us through to the, to the final, the main event. Um, but this race runs directly after the last chance qualifier, so we had no time to uh, make any further repairs to the car. So uh, we started from the back of the grid again in the, in the final. Um, ten cars is <laughs> a big problem into such a short... Uh, in a, such a short 
starting straight and then into the uh, chicane. But anyway, all the cars managed to get through and uh, I battled away as best I could and we ended up coming home in, in sixth place. But we, we didn't have the speed of the, the leading cars because uh, the car was still damaged from the, from the accident in the uh, first heat. But uh, it's a great weekend for Scott Eckman Racing. Uh, we had Samuel Hibernet come home in second place in the Saab in the final and I come home in sixth place. So we have two cars in the final and uh, it's a fantastic result for the team and good for our sponsors and uh, yeah, it's a very good weekend for everybody. Joker at the first uh, lap, which was my good choice because we had both Tanner, Travis, and Deegan fighting up there. So I, I saw them all go in there, so I decided, okay, let's uh, take the Joker so I get my own run, and it helped me a lot. So they moved me up to second place, which was fantastic. And uh, I can just uh, thank enough Tina's Motor Oil and the whole Scott Beckman team for, for supporting me. They delivered me a fantastic car.